like to introduce our speaker today, Michelle Bruzio. Michelle is LiveLook's marketing director, and she's been working with customer service and customer experience professionals for many years. Michelle is heavily involved in LiveLook's client deployments all around the globe in order to help bring valuable research, insights, and best practices to the customer service community. So, Michelle, turn it over to you now. Thank you, Kyle. Um, we're very excited to share this webinar content with you all today. Um, we have had some really exciting deployments in the last year um, in the financial services space specifically, and uh, a lot of really great conversations really in the last couple months about how those deployments are going and uh, what these businesses So it's a it's a great time to share some updates there um, in terms of how other banks and financial institu institutions are using Cobrows. Um, again, just to get us started, uh, if you have some questions as we go, you can use the WebEx Q&A box. You should see a tab towards the top of your screen um, that says Viewing Live Looks Application. If you click on that, it pulls down and it gives you access to that Q&A. Um, we're we're going to save questions till the end, but as we go, just feel free to uh, add any questions you have right into that Q&A box. Um, if you prefer just to use email, you can email Kyle, who introduced me. Um, Kyle is one of our sales professionals, and uh, he will be monitoring his email throughout the webinar as well. And uh, he'll he'll uh, check for questions, and we'll address those at the end of the session as well. And after the session, if you have questions that come up later in the day or if you have some colleagues that had some questions, feel free to email me. You have my email address or Kyle, um, and we'll get back to you. And uh, also note that we are recording this webinar. We'll package this up by the end of the week and send this out to you as well to refer back to or pass along to your colleagues. So I just want to start basic introduction, who is LiveLook? Um, sure, most of you are familiar with us, who we are, what we do. We are the world's most deployed co-browsing technology with enterprise companies. Um, we've been in this business since 2007, and we have the most popular co-browse technology that there is in the marketplace. Um, we are multi-vertical, cross-business unit app applicability. We um, we deploy in financial services, insurance, retail, really across the board. Uh, we are flexible and cloud-based, um, which makes it very easy for us to deploy. And we're a global company. We have um, customers across across the globe using our co-browse and screen sharing technologies. Here are just some of our customers, and I'll highlight the financial services customers since I know that's what everybody is, has come together for today. Um, these are just a handful. Uh, in terms of adding logos to our slides, a number of our customers do consider us to be a competitive advantage, so they keep us sort of close to the vest. Um, these are some of the, the customers that we have that don't mind that we share publicly that they do use Cobrows. So just to give you an idea of the types of enterprise companies that are currently using our technology today. So if you're familiar at all with Cobras technology, um, or if you haven't seen it in action yet, I'm just going to give you a quick overview. Um, LiveLooks Cobras technology in particular is instant launch. It's universally compatible. We have unmatched security, and we're easy to deploy. And that's really what differentiates our Cobras technologies in the marketplace. We're, what we find is that Cobras technology truly eliminates a, a major customer service blind spot that companies are experiencing in their contact centers, um, where they can be helping a customer on the phone or through chat and having to articulate issues rather than just getting that, that visual insight. Really tr truly feel that they have this new 360 degree view of every customer interaction where they can help 
quickly and accurately without guessing and without frustration. We've gotten a lot of attention over the last couple of years from analysts, and that attention is starting to increase as more and more companies, enterprise-level companies, are deploying Cobras. Um, so you'll start to see um, in 2012, and, and we know coming out in 2013 as well, um, Cobras technology benchmarked in some of the reports from Forrester and Gartner and Frost and Sullivan. Um, this is a a quote from Frost and Sullivan, and I'll just read it in case anybody's multitasking and not looking at the screen right now. One of the strongest ways to improve the customer experience is to join forces with customers using collaboration tools such as web co-browsing. And another quote from Forrester, this is some research that they did actually towards the end of 2011, I believe, where they found that live assist communication channels like phone, chat, and co-browse have much higher satisfaction ratings than asynchronous electronic channels like email, web self-service. Uh, satisfaction ratings were phone at 74%, chat at 69%, co-browse at 78% satisfaction rating, which is the highest of all of them. Email was 54 and web self-service was 47%. So co-browse across the board rated better than any other channel. I'm going to show you an example of a co-browse product flow just to set the stage for what this technology looks like in action. You, you may have seen Cobrows deployed in other ways, um, but this is the way that we know works very, very well. Um, what we recommend is a hovering button somewhere on the screen. Um, bottom right works very well. Hovering over that button will give some instructions, um, and this is all configurable about what the button does. So, for example, browse together with our experts online using co-browsing. Um, and that message can be tailored to whatever the scenario is for the website that the button is on. Um, when the customer clicks on that live expert button, some more messaging can appear, a phone number. So if they're not already on the phone with an agent, they can be given a specific phone number to call. Or if they are already on the phone with a customer service agent, they can just read off that five-digit code to the agent they're already speaking with. And again, this messaging is also configurable. The customer service agent has access to a agent console. And this, this is web-based, which makes it very easy to integrate into whatever other processes or consoles are already in place at the uh, contact center. So all the agent has to do is enter that five-digit access code, and that's it. They're connected. Um, they can see the customer's screen. The connection is established. That uh, button on the website stays visible, and the customer is able to disconnect at any time. They, they know throughout the entire session what the uh, connection status is. Another way that Cobrowse can be launched um, is through chat. And we have a lot of chat partners that integrate Live Look directly into their chat solutions, like right now um, through Oracle, um, Live Person, Interactive Intelligence. We have a lot of partners that, that do this. And then we also, at Live Look, um, have deployed our own homegrown chat solution um, that really is built specifically to house a, a, a best-in-breed co-browse integration. Um, so the way that it's done through chat is an agent would just push a link out to the customer that they're already chatting with, inviting them to co-browse. Uh, the customer clicks the link, and the co-browse session can, can begin without the uh, exchange of that five-digit code. And new in 2013, what we're actually going live with this within the next month or two is um, mobile co-browsing. So when a customer is on a, a website using a mobile phone or a tablet, the same 
the same process applies as with the uh, on-site button that I showed you earlier, where the customer would just click to get that five-digit code, call or chat in with an agent, and provide that code to uh, co-browse directly on their mobile device. And this is something that LiveLook has heard for the past year with increasing interest that, that this is critical in the marketplace, that customers are transitioning from using laptops to using tablets. Um, so that when they are calling in for support, they would appreciate the ability for an agent to look at their tablet and see what they're doing on the website. So that's really what the co-browse connection process looks like. Um, and knowing that this audience is financial services, um, I'd like to go into some details about security and privacy. Um, by far, the financial services market comes to live look um, for Cobra solutions because our security and privacy features are so strong. Um, it, almost no other solution, probably no other solution, makes any sense for a financial institution um, in terms of privacy and security. What live look can do is limit co browsing um, in a, a variety of ways. It can be limited. The view can be limited to just the customer's browser. It can be limited to any combination of specific web pages, specific web domains, or even desktop applications. So for example, um, a customer could co-browse with an agent and show where they are on a website and then click over to perhaps their internet settings to troubleshoot why something is not working on the website. Um, where other co-browsing solutions, that wouldn't be possible to co-browse outside of the browser. Um, and this is, this is all configurable, so whatever makes sense for, within the use case for the business, um, LiveLook can make it work. Um, in addition, we can get very granular on the pages and block transmission of data from key fields on a page. Um, so not only is that not viewed by the agent, that, that is not even transmitted, that data. So here's just some examples of what that looks like um, for a situation where co-browse is deployed to limit the view just to the browser, for example. Um, what's on the left is what the customer screen looks like, and what's on the right is what the agent is seeing. Um, when they when the customer opens some content that has not been approved by the company for view, it's blocked out. And this is an example of blocking transmission in key fields. So on the left side, you see the customer has entered their credit card number in the credit card number field. And on the right side, that's blocked from agent view. Um, that that area of the page is is not even transmitted at all. And, and I'm stressing this because this is very important for compliance um, scenarios. And that's one of the reasons why this has been um, of interest, especially to financial services organizations. Some additional security measures um, include complete control over the customer launch points. So customer launch points can be positioned behind authentication. Um, you can be very specific in terms of where, what customers are able to request a co-browse session. Um, there's a, a lot of control over that. And then it's also accessible only by authorized employees. We can restrict employee login to a specific range of IP addresses. And then there is the, um, the agent can control entitlements. And what this means is what the agent can do during a COBRA session. Um, most of our financial services cu customers only allow the agent to view the customer screen and at most move their, the customer's mouse cursor around to show them where to, to execute a click. Um, there is no ability for that agent to click on content 
or type with their keyboard, um, and this protects the company against any sort of liability. And it makes the customer feel very confident that the agent is not doing anything to their computer during the COBRA session. Um, as, but there are scenarios where Tier 2 support would require perhaps full mouse control or even full mouse and keyboard control to help um, with technical support issues. And in that case, those types of entitlements can be configured. Um, and this is done at the agent level and is configurable by the company. LiveLook does not write an executable to the disk. It, the, it works, co-browsing works solely within the browser, and no customer data is stored on LiveLook. And one of the reasons why financial services companies find LiveLook's solution to be so attractive. Because of LiveLook's um, architecture, we are not bypassing firewalls or anti-malware appliances. This is this is not a solution that's going to trigger malware alerts or um, download processes. This, it, it's very easy for both the customer and the agent to connect that session, and the sessions are encrypted. Um, security is of utmost importance to LiveLook. We built this solution to be the most secure solution on the marketplace. And along those lines, we we do um, have periodic cold vulnerability scans using Veracode, and that's just another way that we've proven our bank-hardened security um, of live with co-browse and screen sharing. So that's a lot about security. Um, where I'd like to go next is into the business value of CoBrowse, specifically for financial services. And the business value can really vary depending on the type of company that is deploying CoBrowse, what their contact center goals are, um, and what the use case is. But here, here are the most common examples of business cases that we see um, when we are deploying co-browse. So customers, companies come to us when they need to improve their first contact resolution rates. Um, and LiveLook is, has done exceptionally well in that KPI in particular because opening a, a co-browsing session during a service interaction enables the agent to very, very quickly and accurately solve an issue the first time. And that's one where it's pretty consistent across the board that we're hitting that KPI. Um, we also have some major success reducing call handling time. And, and that can seem counterintuitive. And in certain cases, adding a COBRA session to the contact interaction can up the time by a few seconds. Um, but in other scenarios where it's a call that would typically take a long time, um, it can do a lot of good shaving minutes off of that call handling time. We have a insurance company that uses CoBrowse and uh, before they deployed, they were having customer members call in to um, renew their insurance. And those calls they were logging at upwards of 50 minutes. Um, just trying to help the, the member navigate the online portal to see what the options are, find where, where they needed to go. They were having trouble, and it was just taking a really, really long time. Um, once they deployed CoBrowse, on average, they shaved those calls down to eight minutes. So that was one where we had a phenomenal impact on their call handling time. Um, perhaps most importantly, it's increasing customer satisfaction scores. Um, across the board, we we get positive reactions from customers when they're able to co-browse with an agent. Um, when, when measured for customer satisfaction, co-browse has a huge impact. Another area is driving self-service tool usage. And one of the case study examples that I'll give you um, later on in the webinar is specific to this where 
um, investments are made in self-service tools, but calls keep coming in from customers who are having trouble using those tools. And going through the process with a customer instead of explaining it over the phone does a lot of good towards driving usage of those tools moving forward. And in general, Cobrowse is creating a an exceptional customer experience, very differentiated. Um, it's it's something that not every customer has experienced, and they appreciate it. Um, it's it it differentiates the experience. Another category of business value is in terms of online sales and. We see a lot of these in the retail space, but also with financial services where um, co-browsing can help increase site conversions when it's used to proactively assist online visitors. Um, it's preventing abandonment by capturing customer attention when they're in the process of perhaps completing an application or a form um, for perhaps a mortgage or a new credit card by going through the process with that customer, you're preventing them from abandoning the form if they're having a problem. Um, it, another value is offering white glove service to high value customers, and that's a sales differentiator. We have certain companies that offer Cobras just to top tier customers, and those customers would never go anywhere else because they they enjoy that hand holding and that added value. And then there's the opportunity to cross-sell and upsell with those customers that you've already have as a captivated audience during a co-browse session. And we, we see a lot of success in cross-selling and upselling. And then another area where, where we've seen co-browse have phenomenal business value is in contact center efficiencies. Um, it can do a lot of good towards improving training and internal process improvements where agents now have the ability to experience firsthand the customer's viewpoint. Um, they are able to solve problems quicker the next time around. They are more familiar with the customer's environment. They're able to... Um, add to knowledge bases based on that, those experiences. We have some companies that allow their agents to take screenshots of um, bugs or issues as they come across them during a code graph session. Um, we've seen contact centers derive a lot of value for their training and process improvement programs just by using this tool. And then it, it increases agent satisfaction and confidence where a company is providing the agent with the tools they need to do the best job they can do. They're able to do their jobs more quickly. They're able to hit their KPIs better. Um, when, when agents are given this tool, they love it and they use it, and it helps them feel more confident about the service that they're providing to their customers, particularly with new agents who don't have um, the level of experience and and comfortability with the website that more senior agents do. So in those ways, Cobrowse can save um, considerable costs within the contact center. I'm going to go now into some case studies and use case examples of businesses that use Cobrowse. Again, I mentioned in the beginning um, a lot of enterprise companies that use Live with Cobrowse are reluctant to be very public about that fact. They do still consider it to be a differentiator and a competitive advantage. Um, so a lot of the case studies that we have and the use case scenarios that we can share are not named, um, but we can we can give some some context um, without naming the, the exact company that's using the tool. So the first case study that I have to share is a credit card company. And this is one of the largest credit card companies across the globe that uses Cobrowse. Um, they, they use it globally. 
Um, like many financial institutions, this company's online service portal was both robust and sometimes it could be very complicated to navigate. Um, because of this, the company was receiving a high volume of calls asking for assistance navigating those online tools. Um, that type of call was having a higher than usual transfer rate, and once an agent with the appropriate skills was able to assist, um, sometimes the agent was just completing the process on behalf of the customer, and it sort of negated the value of the self-service tools that they had invested in. Um, so they, they noticed there was a measured frustration on the part of both the agent and the customer. So this company decided first to test Cobrowse just with the very specific top tier premier customer segment. Um, and when that went very, very well, they deployed to all segments globally. So pretty quickly after deploying Cobrowse, they saw um, that it was a huge success. 91% of the customers that they queried at the end of the experience um, said that co-browsing had very much enhanced the visit to the site. Um, they saw that frustration levels were way down since customers just didn't have any roadblocks to getting assistance exactly when and where they needed it. Um, their issues were getting resolved very, very quickly, and the customers were being guided through the process instead of having an agent maybe complete a tra transaction for them. So they were getting to be more confident in using the site and the agents felt like they were being more helpful. Um, right from the beginning, they saw a 10 point increase in their customer satisfaction scores and that was reported very, very early on in the testing period. So now they've been our customer now for um, a couple years at this point and are having great results uh, using Cobras. This was just a quote from um, the, the uh, project sponsor at that credit card company. It says, Cobras allows us to have a more relevant conversation with the card member. The result is a memorable interaction and a deeper level of card member engagement. So the uh, executive sponsors definitely considered Cobras to be success. <clears throat> so the next case study that I have to share, um, they don't mind us using their name. We've been working with Northrop Grumman Federal Credit Union for a little bit over a year now. Um, they, their challenge was that they were redeploying their online portal. Um, they were making a major technology update and they knew that their customers were going to have to go through a pretty lengthy process to transition to this new banking platform. Um, and they had done this type of thing before and experienced a lot of member frustration. So they were trying to get out ahead of that um, and be able to better help those members no matter what their technical aptitude was and help them get through the new system quickly and easily. So their approach was to deploy LiveLook um, pretty far ahead of that platform upgrade so that their agents were all set to use that tool as soon as the platform change was in effect um, for any member who needed help transitioning. LiveLook co-browse is so easy to use that the, the training was almost nothing. The, the agents were up and running very, very quickly. They knew, they knew how to use it and they knew how to help their members. So once that platform change went into effect, they did start using Cobras extensively and they saw that it did wonders for their first call resolution rates. In every case that they used Cobras, the member's issue was resolved during that contact. Um, they've, they reported that the transition went very smoothly and that anecdotally they were getting comments that the members really appreciated having the ability to co-browse with the rep. Um, even after the transition was completely over, they continued to use co-browse um, just for day-to-day -day service calls. And their members 
will ask for it. When they call in to speak to a member services person, they'll just say, um, do you mind if we just co-browse so you can quickly show me how to do this? Um, so the members really appreciate the fact that, that this credit union has gone that extra mile to provide this tool that helps them get the help they need more quickly and easily. <clears throat> and again, this is just another quote from the, 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 uh, the product manager for, for the credit union. Cobrowse was an invaluable tool for our online banking system migration and the ongoing support of the home banking website. This is something we can't live without going forward. If I said we had to take away Cobrowse, there would be a huge uproar in the support department. And we love that comment because we hear that actually a lot from, from different companies that use LiveLook. The, the agents that have access to this do not ever want to give it up. It just helps them do their job so much better. This next case study is actually um, one that I just put together um, not that long ago. We just met with this company. They've been a LiveLook customer for years, um, but we just went out to visit them to uh, see how they were doing, and they had some great stories to tell us. Um, so this is a high-tech company. Um, and when they decided that they were going to look for a co-browse technology, it was because they felt that their customers expected it. Um, because of the, the high-tech nature of this organization, customers just wanted to be able to share their screen when they were calling in for help. And, and really, that is becoming the expectation among customers, especially in certain segments. Um, and, and this is a company that's very heavily invested in, in process improvements. They want to make life easier for their agents and for their customers. And Cobrowse was definitely going to help them achieve that. So they deployed Cobrowse with the Limit to Browser feature, and that ensures confidentiality and customer security. So they're looking at tax documentation, so they had to be very, very um, security conscious. Uh, the, the reps can't do anything on the customer screen except point and um, show them where, what to do. There's no clicking. There's no mouse control. There's, there's no keyboard control. It's a very, very secure environment. Um, as a company that has such a high level of seasonality, they built a Cobra-specific module into their training program um, so that when new agents came on board at the beginning of tax season, they knew exactly how to use co-browsing, when to use co-browsing, and they made it very easy. Co-browse is, is so easy that it was just um, very simple to fit it into their training. They use co-browse with their chat interactions and their voice interactions. And what they found over the years is that it absolutely improves their average contact handling times when they're able to co-browse and just see what, what's going on with the customer's taxes, it just speeds up the process considerably. Um, it improves their first contact resolution for the same reason. They, there's no question that, that the issue has been resolved. There is no articulation of where are you on the site? Well, can you go up to the left and click that, and what do you see now? Um, that, that whole uh, process is eliminated. It's, it's just very quick and easy to see what they're doing and what they need to do next. And it really improves the experience for both the customer and the rep. All the reps that we spoke with when we were out there a couple weeks ago um, could not say enough great things about having the ability to co-browse with customers. Um, and then they, they use it in, in other creative ways as well. So they, they use co-browse to train with each other. Um, to, to show each other things that are happening in their environment. They use it to document and understand technical issues. And then they have their Tier 2 and Tier 3 agents um, peek into co-browsing sessions. They do that for training and monitoring and to offer advanced support when it's needed. It's worth noting that a co-browse session can be joined by more than one agent. So when a a Tier 1 support agent isn't able to complete the interaction. A Tier 2 or Tier 3 agent can easily join that same session and offer additional support. 
So the last uh, case study that I have to share is uh, a wealth management company, and this is another um, big name enterprise brand. Um, they found what, when they were looking for a co-grass tool that they had a large segment of less tech savvy clients. Um, they were providing online tools to do things like enroll, place trades. Um, the, they, they ran the gamut of online functionality, but they had this high net worth um, tier of clients who wanted to make use of those tools, but they weren't necessarily successful um, in doing so. So they were making a lot of tech support calls, and those calls were taking as long as 30 to 45 minutes. Um, so this was a, a big problem in the contact center, and they needed to find a solution. They deployed Cobrows to make it easy for any client, any technical aptitude, to find co the Cobrows tool and use it and get help quickly. Um, the technical advisors could browse the site with those clients, point them in the right direction, help them use the tools, help them learn how to use the tools themselves moving forward. Um, they made the, the calls quick and easy. And again, co-browsing directly resulted in a lower call handling time um, for those support calls. And it improved the customer experience. That's a segment of their business that really appreciates and almost just expects that level of customer service. Um, and that reduction in the call handling time did a lot towards reducing their operating costs. So they're a very, very satisfied live look customer. This is a quote from the uh, <clears throat> from that company on Cobras. The Cobras has allowed us to point to things on the computer for the client and get them through the online process faster. So they, again, just appreciate the ability to get things done more quickly and more accurately by um, using the visual collaboration of GoBrowse. So that's it. Um, I will uh, take a look at the Q&A box to see if we have some questions. All right, looks like we have a couple. How does the customer know what is blocked and not seen by the agent? That's a great question. Um, the way that we have addressed that um, historically is just by verbal cues from the agent. Um, the agents are trained to uh, clearly articulate what what they're going to be able to see and what they're not going to be able to see. Um, and, and customers typically are very comfortable and confident after that. Um, but, the, but on the customer screen, there's, there's no indicator that something is blocked or, or not blocked. Um, I think the other questions in here we sort of got to. Uh, Kyle, do you have any questions that came in through email? Yes, there are one or two. Um, one is related to uh, to the question that was, you just asked about what the customer uh, knows about what is being blocked and not seen. It's related to that. Do the customers ever express concerns about co-browsing? Uh, do, does the agent have to talk them into it, or is it a pretty comfortable transition? Yeah. That's another great question, and and you know, back in 2007, there there were more um, in-depth conversations about what is Cobras and you know how safe is this. Um, but the industry has evolved so much, and customers have had this kind of co-browsing experience with so many different companies now that it's becoming just a standard customer service tool. Um, so there's not as much convincing that this is safe and secure and okay to use. Um, and with that said, that, it was never really um, a, a big issue to begin with. We, we've, we've developed some pretty good best practices that help agents talk through the process um, very quickly and, and um, easily with the customer so that it's efficient and uh, helping the customer understand what's happening and what the value is and and what the next steps are. Um, I've got a couple more that just came in through the Q&A. Kyle, if you, you want to let me get to these and then we'll go back to email. 
Are the sure. agents allowed to take screenshots or capture images of the customer's screen? Um, that's another good question, and and it's really up to the company. Livebook does not build in any sort of functionality to take screenshots or record the screen or capture images or anything of that nature. Um, that can be done um, on top of Livebook, and we don't we don't block that from occurring. If if that is okay according to the company's policy or if they make a policy that it's it's expected that when you see a bug that you take a screenshot, it's really up to the company. Um, what is the confirmation to the customer that their screen is no longer being shared? Um, during the co-browsing session, the, uh, the customer has a perpetual green blinking light that shows that it's this the session is in progress and there's a red disconnect button. Um, once that disconnect button is clicked, the the green button stops flashing and the the window shows that the session was disconnected. It's confirmed for the customer. Um, this the same would would occur if the, the agent terminated the session. Um, one more question just came in. What are the implications to the telephony architecture in the call centers as companies implement co-browsing? Unfortunately, that one is a little bit above my my um, ability to answer. Um, I would like to just shoot that out to um, my technical counterparts and, and get back to you via email on that one. Uh, so that uh, I can make sure I'm answering your question correctly. And Kyle, any more questions come in through uh, email? I think we probably have time for one more. Yeah, there's one related to a technical question. Can you co-browse on mobile devices and tablets? Um, yes, and that that's one that I'm very excited to answer because um, our new product release, which is coming out, um, within the next month or two is completely um, mobile browser friendly. So any any customer on any mobile device or, or tablet can use their mobile web to co-browse with an agent. And and that's a, a big innovation that, that really changes things for, for um, the industry. Um, that that can be done with all of those security applications that, that LiveLook has now. Um, In the year Q2, we're also launching a in-app co-browse capability. So for a company that has a native application, um, like a tax prep application or an online banking application, um, you can build live look co-browse right into your native app um, and allow a customer to call in and get help while they use the mobile app that you've developed. So I think that's all we have time for. I, I I think there's still some questions rolling in. I don't want to keep everybody past 3.15, but I will um, package up the questions in the email that I send out with um, the webinar recording. Um, the, specifically, one more question just came in regarding minimum system requirements, and uh, I think that one's better answered in writing anyway. So I will list out those system requirements in the email for everybody and send out a link to view the webinar online if you'd like to do so or distribute that internally. And uh, I'll, I'll send along a PDF copy of the uh, PowerPoint presentation and some other materials that might be helpful. So that's it for today, and I thank everybody for attending. I hope you found the content valuable. You all have my email address, and if there are any further questions or if there's anything else we can do to help you evaluate Cobrows, um, please just let me know. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Michelle. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>